Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Down for the Down Show and Friends, and we're back for another K pop reaction. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is TXT uh, Love Song, I Know I Love You. Okay, I, that's a bet. Featuring, and I apologize if I'm butchering the name, CRA or CRE or CRI. I apologize if I'm butchering the name, my apologies. Uh, dance practice so we're gonna check this out today so yeah other than that y'all please hit the like button please make sure you share ring that bell and uh let's get right into it all right all right here we go and three two one mm. very dramatic theatrical love it hard hits definitely hard hits yeah I see you got them knee braces on. I know that's right. Let's see. Mmm, smooth walk in. Smooth walk in. Listen, two things. I think it's always great to see artists practicing with their mics before the concerts and shows and start to get get used to being comfortable with the mic. Um, I think that's I think that's always a great idea. Uh, any props or anything is always important to practice with. Honestly, real simple, y'all. Anything you're gonna be doing. If you got props, you got a mic or anything you're doing, if you're an upcoming singer or dancer, start practicing this stuff. Start practicing with that stuff right away so you can be comfortable on stage. Great idea. The other thing is that little spin that they did, it wasn't like a dramatic or anything like that. But just think about them doing little spins like that, where it's thousands, thousands of fans and lights and cameras and stage props and all, and you do that spin. It looks very easy. But until you spin on stage, even if it's simple, and there's thousand people screaming your name, you feel dizzy and anxiety real quick. Some people don't, but I know I have friends that are backup dancers for like, that did work with Nicki Minaj, did work with Chris Brown and Usher. And I tell them, I ask them all the time, how did it feel spinning and stuff? They was like, yo, when you spinning, your adrenaline is rushing and it's like, it's like you just in a maze. It's crazy. So it's just it just made me remind me how like these dance moves and singing or rapping is not easy at all as people think it is when you feel all of that pressure on you. Just sharing my thoughts. Smooth. That's be the time I catch my breath. Because y'all know when it comes to these these practices, they be putting their all in this. I like that drop. Da 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 da. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that was a hard hit. Mmm. Pop pop pop. Okay. I I was trying to figure out how long it was gonna hold that back because you can see like the more I watch this, I'm starting to see what is something is coming and the way he stepped back with that. They hit that hard and it's getting straight to it. It's very explosive movement right now. It's smooth and explosive at the same time. And a lot of jumps. Not big jumps, but little, like little, like, little jumps here and there. Yeah, like little jumps here and there. Yeah. Very expressive movements. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my thoughts here is exactly what I was thinking. Big moves, very, very big moves, more bigger moves, definitely bigger moves. Very like, in the, the song is, I hear him saying you love me, saying you love me. You could just feel like all the moves are very more expressive. You see that it's very expressive and big. It matches the song. Yes, go back. Did you see that? Ooh. Hey, when they do that, I don't know when they did this, but the next time y'all see them do that on stage, all you fans out there that love TXT, y'all better scream for that part and appreciate that. It's about 17,000 of y'all subscribed to this page, and I know a lot of y'all love TXT. When y'all see them do that, scream right here. Right here. Right here. Not now. Right there. Make sure you scream. I love that. That was very, like, to bring how high the song is and then bring the people down. Just that move. Do, 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 do. Give them some love right there. Yes, expressive. Very expressive choreography for this song. 
very yeah this is taking a lot of energy to do mmm I heard that boom 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 look what they did right there good ear y'all good ear TXT yeah and at the same time this choreography is really smart because even though they have a lot of explosive movements in this choreography, there's moments where it's more internal. And they're going to hit this again. Good job. And then they still get 110%. Yep. Good work. Yeah. Yeah. Again, this choreography, even though it is explosive... It still remains that they're still like having moments where they can catch their breath and be expressive. So this is really good. Uh, I think like I know like the song got probably like a minute and you know what 14 minutes left. Uh, I will say for my for my opinion, only my opinion, is that it's very expressive and that's a lot of stamina to work with. When you got a lot of moves that's dealing with you going uh 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 and you hitting all of this. It's like your breathing gotta be right. So I'm talking as a dancer and as a dance teacher, like you gotta have your breathing right. And the fact that they also singing and dancing, respect. So I think that's really good that they're working with the props of the mic with them already. I think that's just good for anybody, any rapper, singer to do that. It's so, I think it's important because you don't wanna look like a fool on stage. Like just keep it 100. It's no strings attached to that, no, no tangent. You just don't wanna look silly on stage trying to do moves and you never practice with the mic in your hand. I like this choreography too. Shout out to the cameraman. Yeah, that would be beautiful for a music video. Yeah. Yeah. Grab his neck, rip the vocals out. Boom. Ooh. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. That, yeah, this choreography really matches the expression of this song. Good job, TXC. Good work. Good work. Good work, TXC. This was good. Yeah, those are some hard hits, man. I feel like when I practice this, this reminds me of like a lot of times when I see like a lot of shows on like in, in the theater, like the black box theater shows, and you see a choreography that's very like have that like that contemporary modern feel um you really see that in this choreography so respect to the choreographer because also it is also still have a great balance like i said before of like them getting a chance to catch their breath so and no jumps boy jumping on beat good job excellent Yeah, see what I mean right here. That all that I would have had a chance to catch my breath right there. Yes, and right back where they started. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So here's my review um, on it. I think the choreography was great. I think that I think the choreography definitely mastered this. I know this was a year ago. Um, but just watching this choreography as as I talk to y'all as we uh, at the end of this video, I think that um, I actually turn the music down so y'all kind of hear it. But I think honestly, um, the choreography was great. I think that like I said before, the choreography definitely matches. Very theatrical, very expressive. Represent what the song is saying. Represent what they're trying to give out to y'all. So I think seeing this on stage is all it's very put together. And it's very, it will real, it really will bring y'all in. It will really bring a connection because they wanted y'all to feel. So this wasn't about a choreography that had trick moves and all the fancy stuff. This was about like really hitting it. So if you watch the choreography, notice how like they hit and everything. And also witness the hits, witness the jumps, and witness the flow. If you don't know what flow is, honestly, actually we're going to have a moment right here coming up. So right now we have this flowing back 
and then hard hits here. Boom. Okay, now we have a jump right here. Okay, good, good. Now, they stop right here. Now, watch how they get little, I think in this moment, they kind of got a little sharp with the hand movements. Let's see. Let's see if I'm wrong because I'm not scared to be wrong. Hard hits. Bink, bink, bink. Cool. Come up. Hand movements. Boom. Go up. Now, really easy for them to do. We know TXT can get down. I think this is the part right here that I really in like. Right here. Boom. Coming up. Very expressive. Nice flow coming up. Staying on count. Yes. Yes. Now that, look at that flow right there. Bow. I will catch my breath right there. Inhale. Exhale. Right away. Because you never know what's the next move. Bow. And then it hit a sharp hit. So the flow of this choreography works very well with the music. It works very, very well. Like I said before, I said it in my last couple of videos, it's always important to make sure the choreography matches the song and easily 10 out of 10 definitely does. Definitely does. So look y'all, thank y'all so much for showing love. TXT always doing their thing. I'm not surprised. I appreciate them always because these boys, they get it in, they do. And that flow right here, by the way, before I go, I'm still a fan. This is my favorite moment. If you want to know my favorite moment, this was mine. This right here. This was my favorite moment right here. The, the drop right here. Ah, 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 ooh. Coming down. Ah, yeah, great. So look, I'm done. I got more videos to do for y'all. I just really wanted to get this out the way. I had this on my list and I forgot. And I just wanted to, I owe y'all this. So I wanted to make sure I knock this out. So look, definitely appreciate this video. I got more for y'all coming on the way. Um, yeah, that's it y'all. I'll see y'all soon. We got more. Peace.